Hey everyone, DJTM here, going to give you a quick tutorial on the way that the tempo sources work in Traktor and particularly how the master clock works because it confuses a lot of young users. So what most people get a little confused around is the fact that there is this global master clock which is in all senses the primary source of timing internally with Traktor. But the way that most people run Traktor is when the master clock is in auto mode. And what that means is when you play a deck, it will automatically become the master tempo. So if I play deck A here, just a basic loop in here, you'll notice that master light gets turned on. So deck A is now the master tempo. Now if I go and play deck B, at the moment it's not actually synchronized. You'll notice deck A is 120 beats per minute and deck B 124. So if I go ahead and press sync, you'll notice that deck B is now synchronized to the master. So sync is looking at the master deck, deck A, 120 beats per minute, and has now been set to 120. And if I go ahead and play that, you'll notice that that's beautifully in time. Nice matched up beat. Now if I stop playing deck A at any point, that master tempo source will actually move from deck A to deck B. So as soon as I stop deck A, you can now see that deck B is the master tempo. But if I stop all of the playing decks, you'll notice that that master source now moves back up to the global master clock. And it's sort of unfortunately named because when you try to explain it to people, you often ask them, what is the master tempo or the tempo master? And people get confused between this master clock and the master icon in each of the decks. Now, the way that you use the master clock to ensure synchronization across all of your decks is actually by turning off auto. And now you have the ability to select which deck is the master. So you could make deck A if it was playing. So if I go ahead and play that deck, now I can say deck A is the master. And if I was playing deck B, those two are currently in sync, but now I can make deck B the master. So with auto turned off, I have complete control with who is the master, could be one of the decks, or in fact, could be the global clock. But if you set the global clock, the master clock, as the master tempo, now every single deck will refer back to this master clock when you go and set or adjust the tempo. So, at the moment, you'll notice this is 120 beats per minute. And everything I'm talking about really relates to the way that you synchronize, which is even more important for a remix deck. So, if I set the master tempo to 130 beats per minute, currently hasn't changed anything, except actually you can see deck B, because it was already synced to the master tempo, it's already jumped to 130 beats per minute. If I turn sync off, you'll notice it immediately jumps to 120 beats per minute because that's what it was last synchronized with. So to do that again, if I synchronize deck A, it synchronizes with the current master tempo, which is the master clock, the global clock, 130 beats per minute and 130 beats per minute now in deck A. Same applies on a remix deck. If I hit sync down here on the remix deck, it will now sync up to the master clock. Again, 130 beats per minute. And now any deck that is synchronized, if you change the master clock, make that a 125, every deck that is currently synchronized will change value. And again, A and C are synchronized, their sync is turned on, so they're following the master clock. However, Deck B is not synchronized, it's completely independent at the moment and I can run it at whatever tempo that I want to. So where this is most useful in a remix deck is by using the master clock as the master tempo, you can make sure that a known source is the clock value that you're syncing with. In short, that there is no risk that if you transition from deck A to deck B and you accidentally mess with the tempos, that your remix deck won't suddenly jump to some brand new tempo or in fact become the tempo master itself. And if you've experienced that, it can result in some chipmunking fairly quickly. 
So just to give you an example of that, I'll uh, just return this. Set deck A playing. And if I was to increase this, 140 beats per minute. Okay, that'll speed up a little. Let's set it back to 125 beats per minute. So we're running in master clock mode. The master clock is the master tempo at 125 beats per minute. Deck A is synchronized. I can now go and fire a, one of the samples in the remix deck. I can build that up. I might need to switch to mixer mode to make sure that that's actually coming out, which it is. So now there's a little bit going on. Everything lined up in sync. So now the advantage is, I'll also synchronize deck C, uh, and sorry, rather deck B over here. And now it's also 125 beats per minute. And whatever I do to this global clock is exactly what happens to all synchronized decks. And so there's no risk, risk for example, of doing a remix on deck C and having some backing bead or loop that you've set up on deck A, and then you bringing in the new track on deck B there is no risk of any of that being anywhere near out of sync. So hopefully that gives you a slightly better idea of how to deal and when to use the master clock up in the global section of Tractor. Most importantly, it can be a really useful friend when you're doing remixes and trying to maintain multiple deck in synchronization. All right, good luck. Hit me up on the Native Instruments user forum or at djtmhire.com.